You can show up and just engage and use social media for fun. You can use it and be social on it. You're not having to worry about being a creator. You can set aside the time in advance to have your creative moments. Hi friends, I'm Katie Brinkley and you're listening to a Rocky Mountain Marketing Quick Cast. These bite-sized episodes are released every Thursday and are going to give you the latest news and tips in the world of social media that are happening right now. Let's dive in to today's Quick Cast episode. Welcome back to this week's episode of Rocky Mountain Marketing. This Quick Cast episode, I have to tell you friends, I've been holding out on you. And I was talking with some of my friends recently about some of the tools that I use for not just my my own social media, but for my agency as well. So different tools that I use for my clients and tools that I show my one-on-one coaching clients and my, 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 my organic Instagram bootcamp group. These are tools that I've used and I've only been sharing with my clients and I have to say, sorry, I, I need to share these with the world and I talk about them regularly, but I haven't ever told you why I like these tools. And the tool I'm going to talk about today is Loomly, L-O-O-M-L-Y. Why should you care? It's a great question. If you're using social media and you're posting manually, so by that I mean you're going to Instagram or to Facebook, you're writing it out either on a keyboard or on, you know, using both thumbs on your phone and posting and you're not planning your content in in advance, you're missing out on an opportunity. You're missing out on getting some of your life back. And when you utilize a social media scheduler, whether it's you as an agency owner and you have multiple accounts or just one, if it's just your business, by utilizing a social media scheduler, you are going to get so much of your time back. I was talking with some of my friends about Loomly the other day and they said, well, Katie, I know that you love this tool, but I never realized all the features that it has, that all the different reasons why I should be using it. I thought it was just another social media scheduler. And in my personal experience, Loomly really stands out from all the other social media schedulers for its ease of use and its features. Everything that I need to manage my social media is available within the platform which makes my life as an entrepreneur so much simpler. Loomly truly streamlines the process and eliminates the need to juggle multiple tools. The, one of the reasons why I like Loomly, again, is because of some of these features. There's different features that Loomly has that I haven't really seen with other social media schedulers. And like I said before, a social media scheduler is where you can create your content and then it will automatically post the content for you, whether it is a Instagram reel or a Facebook post, Google my business post, it will schedule it and publish it for you based on the time that you requested. And this makes a big difference because if you're sitting down on Monday you can plan out your entire week's worth of content and then step away, you can show up and just engage and use social media for fun. You can use it and be social on it. You're not having to worry about being a creator. You can set aside the time in advance to have your creative moments. So let's dive into some of these key features that Loomly has that I really think make it stand out from the rest of the crowd. As I said before, it it has the approved API for all of the socials out there, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, YouTube, Pinterest. It has the approved API. That means that It will publish natively on these platforms and you're not going to get quote unquote dinged in the algorithm for using a scheduler. If you're not using a tool that has the approved API, you could get bumped down in the algorithm just a little bit. So in addition to having the approved API and being able to post to any platform, it offers some of these key features. One of the key features is post ideas. Loomly offers inspiration based on trending topics, different RSS feeds, data related events and best practices, ensuring that you never run out of content ideas. It also has a content library. So Loomly helps you organize and manage all of your content, including photos, videos, notes, links, templates, 
making it easy to access and reuse assets across multiple platforms. You can also have the optimization so that you know that your post is going out at the best time for that platform. Now I say this, and this is something that is different for everyone. So I say this regularly for me, one of my best times to post is on Monday nights on Instagram. But according to the Loomly best posting times, it says I should post around three. So, I mean, this, these are just general best posting days and times that they give you. But I say this because as you're creating posts, it's going to give you the best practices. So it's going to give you the optimization tips to help you craft engaging and effective content that really resonates with your target audience. The platform also allows a collaborative review and approval process. If you have an assistant or if you are part of a larger team, you can see the full post process. So you can see when the post was created. You can see the post preview, how it will look in the Instagram grid for the entire month posts that have yet to come. So you and your team know exactly what you are publishing. And I said this earlier, it allows automated publishing. So Loomly's scheduling feature allows you to save time by automatically publishing your content, allowing you to focus on other aspects of your business. You're not having to worry about going in and, oh, it's Thursday. I got to go ahead and create a social media post. It's all scheduled for you. It also has an ads manager in there so that you can boost and promote any posts through ads for Facebook and LinkedIn reaching the audience that matters to your brand. And then my favorite part, the advanced analytics. Loomly provides robust analytics, including the account posts, link metrics. It allows you to compare performance over time, helping you make data-driven decisions. This is one of my favorite parts of Loomly because you have the opportunity to see, well, these posts don't do that great. Why am I continuing to do them? I'm going to stop doing these posts or these posts are doing amazing. I'm going to do even more of these. You're no longer throwing spaghetti at the wall. Now let's talk about how Loomly benefits different types of users for, for brands, businesses, and agencies alike. Loomly really simplifies the social media communication tool. So I know a lot of people use notion or Trello to build out a social media post. Everything is right there in Loomly for you. So it's a collaborative platform allowing all the tools and workflows needed to build a successful brand online. It also has great features built into the platform. It has the free stock image tool Unsplash built right in. So if you want to use a stock image for one of your posts, it's built right in. If you want to use Jiffy and have a GIF for one of your posts, it's built right in. For agencies and freelancers, Loomly really streamlines the client collaboration. So for me, my team works on a social media post, and then on the 26th of the month, we send it off to our clients for their approval. They don't see all the back and forth. We've already been working on June content. It is May 11th, <laughs> and we're already working on June content for a lot of our clients. So by us working in there in the back end now, they're not seeing all this back end stuff. They're only going to get notified when the final product is ready for their approval. So if you're a freelancer or an agency, Loomly really streamlines this client collaboration, making it easier to manage multiple accounts and ensure that everyone is on the same page. So to wrap up, Loomly is my favorite social media scheduling tool. I feel like I've used all of them. I feel that it comes in at a very affordable price for all of the benefits that it offers. It also allows you to look at your comments. So if you don't want to open up Instagram on your phone or on your desktop, I had a client that said, ah, great. I actually have to download Instagram if I'm going to do this. And I said, well, actually, if you use Loomly, you don't have to. So if somebody comments on a post, if somebody's sending you messages on Facebook and the DMs, Loomly has a tool so that you can go in and interact with people that have engaged with you. It doesn't include the outbound engagement, but you can actually answer people's posts. You can answer people's comments, their DMs right in Loomly. If you're looking for a great tool to streamline your process, I've talked about Loomly a lot, 
on my social media in past podcast episodes. These are the reasons why. And I've said this before. I feel like I've used every scheduling platform out there. This one's my favorite. You have the list view. You have the calendar view. It allows for multiple people to collaborate. It is my favorite tool. I highly encourage you to check it out. If you want to check out Loomly, I do have an affiliate link. It's katiebrinkley.com slash Loomly. Check it out. Let me know. If you decide to use Loomly, send me a DM. I'm curious what you think about it. If you have any questions on Loomly, I've given trainings on it just because, again, I love this tool. It's one of my favorites. It's simplified my life and helped my team really build out their clients' social media in a collaborative effort. Loomly is my favorite, katiebrinkley.com slash Loomly. And if you are using another tool, send me a DM. Tell me what you like about it versus Loomly. And if you have any questions, if a social media scheduler is right for you and your business, get in touch with me. I'd be happy to have that conversation with you. Thanks so much for listening to this week's episode of Rocky Mountain Marketing. Make sure to subscribe so that you can continue navigating the world of entrepreneurship. And I'd love to hear from you. Please leave the show a review and connect with me on social media. You can find me on Instagram at I am Katie Brinkley or connect with me on LinkedIn. And if you're ready to start making some sales on social media, be sure to grab my free guide to selling in the DMs without being spammy. You can get that at katiebrinkley.com. Let's keep taking your marketing to all new heights.